Good afternoon. I'm Justin Kolpak here to bring you the Stevenson High School Coaches Show on the Stevenson Broadcast Network. During each episode this school year, we will have the opportunity to sit down and talk with a different head coach here at Stevenson. On this first episode, we are lucky enough to be able to sit down and talk with varsity volleyball coach Tim Crow. Coach Crow, thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having me. So historically, and definitely since you arrived, Stevenson has had a pretty strong volleyball program. Uh, what can you attribute this to? Uh, I think it's just the tradition itself. Um, you know, the kids get here, they try out for the team, they make one of the teams. The success of our varsity team, I think, has a huge impact on that, and uh, I think that just carries over from year to year. Uh, so when you started at Stevenson, what policies and changes did you make uh, to implement and sustain such a strong program? Uh, I think one of the major changes I made, uh, this is my 10th year as a head coach, um, was just creating more accountability for kids getting to practice, getting to games and matches, making sure they're there. Um, we are a cut sport. We have numerous kids that try out. We have large numbers. Um, you know, we want to try to keep everybody a little bit more accountable, more dedicated to the program. Uh, can you please tell us a little bit about the makeup of the current team this year? Yeah, we have eight seniors, uh, four juniors and two sophomores. Mm -hmm. um, interesting dynamic that we have. We have eight seniors, but only um, you know, three of them have really you know, seen any amount of varsity experience playing time from last year uh, when they were juniors. Um, we have a, a good core, uh, two sophomores on the team uh, that, that are pretty talented sophomores, uh, and I see a good future for them. Um, and then our seniors, we also have, I think, five of the seniors that we have are first-year senior players. So um, that also adds into trying to develop chemistry a little bit better, a little bit more difficult, too. Um, so are there any newcomers that you're expecting um, that we should pay attention to? Um, yeah, we do. We got, uh, you know, uh, Jenna Racky. She's a junior. Uh, I think last year was the first year she's ever really played competitive volleyball. Uh, she's been excellent for us so far this year. Also, Annie Geocare, she was on the team as a sophomore last year, didn't see much playing time, but this year she's contributing a lot on the court for us. Um, so what goals have you set for the team, and what goals have the team set for itself for this upcoming year? You know, my goals for my teams are generally the same. Uh, you know, our, our goal is just to play at a high level. I think we always typically have enough talent to, you know, let the wins take care of themselves. If we're able to play at a high level, um, we're going to be a tough, tough team to beat, and uh, you know we really want to encourage them to play at a high level. That's our main goal. The wins will take care of themselves. Uh, so since you arrived at Stevenson, you have been coaching both the boys and the girls program. Um, so what sort of different challenges um, do you encounter when coaching uh, these two different programs? Uh, a lot of it is just basically the time, um, stuff I put in. I have uh, three children. I'm married. I have a two-month-old currently, a two-and-a-half-year-old, and a, a four-and-a-half-year-old. So. Um, that puts a lot of stress, uh, you know, adding to my normal teaching schedule there. Um, boys and girls, different seasons, one's in fall, one's in spring. Um, the girls is nice because you have camp, you go right into season, your guys are ready to go. Boys season starts out a little bit slower because the guys have been off for a while um, and get going, so that's another challenge. Um, so for the games, how do you and your, uh, how do you, you and your staff get prepared? Uh, is there any special rituals you do before the game or anything like that? Um, you know, when we prepare for other teams, a lot of times we get a lot of word from the girls on our own team that play in the club circuit. They know some of their, their kids. We do scout teams, uh, mostly conference teams. It's difficult to get out to scout because the majority of the teams all play on the same night. So um, just because of the assignment of the officials and so forth, uh, typically we'll come up with some type of scouting report, talks about their rotation, their kids, where they're at in the rotation, where they like to hit. We document where their hitting charts are, who are the weaker passers, what type of defense they run. Um, and we sit down and we, we go over and do a scouting reports and then uh, you know work on things and practice that we're going to see against the teams. Um, are there any special motivational techniques that you and your staff do throughout the season to try to motivate your players? Uh, you know, I think we try to motivate our kids, but we also put a lot of accountability within the captains of the team and also the seniors. Um, you know, they're the, going to be the main, the main motivating force for our team, especially volleyball is a long season. We end up playing, you know, 36 matches or so. By the end of the season, you know, all my motivational techniques are kind of exhausted a little bit, so we really rely on the girls also to really kind of help pick each other up. Um, you know, we just do what we can to talk up the teams that we're playing, um, you know, mention their stats, mention their size, mention their records, so forth, um, really try to get the girls even more fired up to play. Mm -hmm. um, so on, the, on a final note, how does the future of Stevenson Volleyball look? Um, 
based on what you're seeing from the system, from feeder schools, things like that, okay. uh, what do you think the future of Stevenson volleyball holds? Uh, I'm assuming it'll, it'll still be strong. You know, traditionally we've been we've been strong. It was the program's been strong before I came here, and the program's strong since I've been here, and then I believe it'll be strong after I'm gone. We have uh, some excellent athletes here at Stevenson, and uh, you know, I I'm looking forward to the future as always. So. Okay. Uh, well, that's just about all the time we have for today. Coach Crow, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Um, I'd also like to thank the Stevenson Athletic Director, Mrs. Trish Bet Bettenhauser, um, Jason Carlson and Jeremiah Enright at WAS, and most importantly, Joe Pine the, and the crew at SHS TV. Thank you very much for your hard work. Uh, be sure to tune in next time for when I will be sitting down and talking to the varsity coach for soccer, Mark Shartner. Uh, until then, for Coach Tim Crow and the entire crew of Stevenson High School Coaches Show, I'm Justin Kolpak. Thank you for watching.